There's about 29 states now in the country that have uh, mer medical marijuana laws. And Pennsylvania is about to start a medical marijuana program. And so in today's talk, I uh, reviewed the scientific evidence for using medical marijuana for chronic pain. The evidence basically shows there's some limited evidence to support the use of medical marijuana for neuropathic pain, but the evidence for other types of pain uh, are, are insufficient to really make uh, uh, any conclusion. However, it's incumbent upon primary care physicians uh, and other physicians in this state uh, to decide if they want to sign up to be medical marijuana prescribers and to really learn a lot about the scientific evidence and about how the, me the medication uh, will be uh, distributed in the state. Probably the best uh, approach for physicians to take is to learn a lot about it, to, if they want to prescribe, um, is to learn a lot about it, uh, take the training courses that are going to be made available by the state, perhaps visit a dispensary so that they can understand the process better, and then uh, if they want to prescribe it for a patient, you know, be very careful about it. And, and patients, uh, physicians should make sure that they that the patient's condition is one of the qualifying conditions for which there is good evidence, and really the best evidence for using medical marijuana is for nausea and vomiting, spasticity from multiple sclerosis, or the chronic neuropathic pain that I mentioned. Uh, patients should have failed multiple trials of other uh, you know, first and second line uh, you know, treatments for the condition that they're seeking medical marijuana for. Patients should uh, not have any current substance use disorder or any unstable mental health condition because in those patients they do have an increased risk of developing uh, a marijuana uh, addiction.